Did you know that one rotation of Venus on its axis takes longer than one orbit of the Sun? It has the longest rotation of any planet in the solar system, which is 243 Earth days. Yet each orbit of the Sun takes only 225 Earth days. Isn't that ridiculous? But why? What are the scientists saying about this and why is this possible? Stay tuned as in today's video we reveal why a day on Venus is longer than a year. The second planet from the Sun Venus has a similar structure to Earth but is slightly smaller with a diameter of around 12,000 kilometers. There is however something peculiar about it. It rotates in the opposite direction as Earth and the majority of other planets. It also rotates quite slowly. It takes 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. A year passes quickly since it is so close to the Sun. And that's not all. It also takes less days to complete a full orbit around the Sun. That means a day on Venus is a little longer than a year on Venus. One day on Venus is not the same as one on Earth. Every day the Sun rises and sets once. The Sun rises every 117 Earth days on Venus. That means the Sun rises twice a year on Venus despite the fact that it is still the same day. On Venus, however, the Sun does not rise and set every day as it does on most other planets. Surprisingly, it rises in the west and sets in the east because Venus revolves backward. It means that on Venus you can see the Sun rise in the west and set in the east. However, compared to Mars, Earth's other planetary neighbor and other solar system destinations, Venus has gotten less scientific interest. But why? Well, according to a new study led by University of California astrophysicist Stephen Kane, the thick and stormy atmosphere of Venus could be to blame. Without the atmosphere, Kane believes that Venus's rotation would speed up to match its orbit around the Sun, a phenomenon known as tidal locking. A solar day is defined by scientists as a single rotation of a planet around its axis. A planet's orbit, on the other hand, is defined as the time it takes for it to complete one full round around the Sun. Although Venus is smaller than Earth in size, it is closer to the Sun and thus completes an orbit in less time. It not only has a shorter distance to travel, but it is also closer to the Sun's gravity, allowing it to move more quickly. It orbits the Sun at a distance of about two-thirds the distance between our planet and the star. Another reason why a day on Venus is longer than a year is the planet's dense and unstable atmosphere. Venus is an odd and unfriendly planet. The world is enveloped in a dense and deadly atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, causing a runaway greenhouse effect that raises surface temperatures to life-threatening 900 degrees Fahrenheit. To figure out why Venus rotates so slowly, Kane calculated how long a planet like Venus would take to become tidally locked. The size of the two bodies, their mass, gravity, and rotation rates were all taken into account in the computation. He discovered that it should have only taken Venus six and a half million years to become tidally locked. That is merely a minor portion of the solar system's four and a half billion years of existence. As a result, there must be a reason why Venus's rotation hasn't yet matched its orbit, and Kane believes it's the atmosphere. Surprisingly, the Sun itself functions as a brake, allowing the atmosphere to overcome the tidal lock. Understanding the connections between a planet's atmosphere and its effect on tidal locking could have far-reaching implications. As exoplanet hunters like the James Webb Telescope discover new and exciting possibly habitable worlds, Kane says that scientists should explore whether some of them, like Venus, are undergoing tidal locking. He points out that existing methods of exoplanet hunting are indirect techniques, meaning that researchers can't view the planet directly and deduce its presence from its effect on the star. These conclusions are drawn from models based on data gathered from the study of planets in our own solar system. Researchers can learn more about planets and other star systems that could potentially host life by learning as much as they can about near tidally locked planets like Venus. And that is all for today's video. What are your thoughts about Venus? Does it make sense that a day can be longer than a year? Let us know in the comment section below and go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, until next time.